Remember for transition questions, we're going to use dumb summaries to try to understand what's going on in the simplest possible terms. We don't want to overthink these words, but most importantly, we also don't want to go by what sounds best. There are real reasons why certain words are better in certain situations. So try to think about how these two sentences are related without thinking about the transition at first. So the first sentence is pretty clear. Over the past generation, people in many parts of the United States have become accustomed to dividing their household waste products into different categories for recycling. So is it positive? Is it negative? I don't really know. It seems kind of neutral to me. It's, it's not really taking, a, it's not definitively positive. It's not definitively negative. It's just kind of like a statement of fact. Then I'm going to ignore the underlying transition word because I don't want to bias myself and pick that just because it's what I read first. So looking at the second sentence, though, it says paper may go in one container, glass and aluminum in another, regular garbage in a third. Again, it seems kind of neutral. It doesn't really have a connotation. It's kind of just a statement of fact again. So why does that help me? Well, I know that words like however are contrast words, right? What's the dumb summary version of that word? It's a positive to a negative shift. Same thing with regardless. In fact, these words mostly mean the same thing. And so they can't both be right if they mean the same thing, but it doesn't matter. They're not right because the connotation is wrong. It's not matched with what's going on here. There is no contrast. Then we get into a little bit more of a debate, right? So furthermore, a dumb summary of what that word means would be something like positive to positive, right? It's a continuation of a point. Whereas, for example, also maybe does have that same connotation. It's, it's continuing a thought, but it brings a little bit more of a specificity to the situation, right? It's not just like an and. That might be a good way of thinking about that. For example means for example, right? It's, it's giving us an example. So really, I just have a simple question to ask. Is the second thing an example of the first thing? Well, the second thing is talking about paper going in one container, aluminum and glass going in another, regular garbage in another container. That sounds like an example of dividing your pro waste products into different categories. So yeah, D is best because it matches with what we'd expect here. You know, it, it's, it's an example. For example, is a good transition word to pick. So hopefully this one wasn't too bad. Maybe we would have just felt like this one is right because of the way it sounds, but that won't always be the case. So my advice is to try to think about these as uh, very simple words instead, words like but, and, and for example. That way you can have a better sense of the simple situation that you're dealing with, and then it becomes easier to kind of hear what's right and what's wrong.